With help of the armature from the last video, we create a walk animation. If you missed out the last video, no problem, as always, you will find the link in the video description where you can download the finished project file from the last video. Before we start the animation, we need to set the default interpolation mode to linear. Go to Edit, Preferences, Animation, and down here you find Default Interpolation. Set it to linear. We need to do another preparation. We will use Blender to calculate the mirror position of the opposite leg. To use this feature, the bones must have a specific name. Select the armature and go to Edit Mode. For this tutorial, I renamed the IK bones and the pole targets. For example, rename IK front left to IK front L. On the other side, IK front R. Blender can derive from the L and the R what's left and right. So it can calculate the mirror position. Same applies for the pole targets and the bones of the rear legs. In our timeline, we keep the start frame 1, but we set the end frame to 100. Split the main window once again and set the middle area to dope sheet. Drag the timeline down, but make sure to reach the animation controls. Enlarge the viewport a little bit. In the viewport, switch to pose mode. Since the front legs are stretched to their maximum, select the root bone and move it down. Select the IK front left and move it forward with GY. When you move the leg too far forward, you will notice that the leg lifts off the ground. I move the leg just a moment before it would lift off. Then I select IK front right and move it back right before it lifts off. Hold down Shift and select both IK bones and press I, location rotation. Go to the dope sheet and copy the keyframes with Ctrl Z. Go to the timeline and choose jump to endpoint and paste with Ctrl V. Copy the keyframe once again and go to frame 50. Paste the mirrored keyframe with Ctrl Shift V. Blender mirrors the position of the legs from the copied keyframe. When I start the animation, you can see the legs moving back and forth. The next step is to lift the legs when the forward movement begins. In keyframe 1, we start with the right leg. Select the IK front right and switch to frame 25. Move the bone up with GZ. Hold down Shift and select the other leg and press I, Location Rotation. Copy the keyframes with Ctrl C and go to frame 75 and paste the mirrored keyframe with Ctrl Shift V. When I play the animation, you can see the legs are lifted when moved forward. We can visualize the movement from the IK front left. Select the bone, go to pose mode, motion path, calculate. The frame range should be from 1 to 100 and click OK. This triangle shape is the reason why our animation looks a little bit clumsy. We need to smooth the movement, especially at the top of a triangle. Switch to Graph Editor and select the Z location. Shift H hides every other animation axis. When I select keyframe 75 and move it up, you can see the triangle shape. I select the start of the animation in Z direction, frame 50 and the apex, frame 75. Go to Key, Interpolation Mode and select Bezier. When I move up the apex, you can see the Bezier interpolation. In the animation, we see a smooth movement of a z-axis. A slight disadvantage of this method is the touchdown sequence. It looks like as the paw slides along the y-axis after hitting the ground. Select the endpoint and move the left handle closer to the keyframe. The z-movement is now almost linear in this location. This also applies for the keyframe 50. We move the right handle closer to the keyframe. I start the animation again and the sliding problem is solved. I applied the same animation for the rear legs and now we can animate the rest of the bones for the body movement. 
When I am satisfied with animation, I select all bones with A and switch to graph editor. Reveal everything with Alt H. Select the Z location from the IK front left. Double click to select all keyframes and press N to bring up the side menu. Go to modifiers, add modifiers, cycles. Blender repeats the animation of 100 keyframes in an endless loop. Go to copy modifier and select everything with A and use paste modifier. Delete one modifier from the active curve. We don't need two of them. Every bone movement is synchronized within 100 frames. But with a cycles modifier, we can shift the movement of some bones. Dogs don't walk in amble, so we can fix this. Go back to dope sheet and select the IK rear left and the IK rear right. Select all keyframes in the dope sheet and move them 15 frames forward with GX. Now the rear legs proceed the front legs. We can apply the same principle to the other bones of the body. I can move the keyframes of the bones of the shoulders 5 frames forward, or the bones in the tail or in one ear. If we want to create other animations beside the walk animation or combine two animation, this workflow we are using now would end in a mess. So let's transform the walk animation into an action. Select every bone and switch to action editor. Enlarge the timeline and switch to nonlinear animation editor. Rename the animation and click on the shield to store the animation. Even if I delete this animation, I can bring it always back with this option. Press N for the side menu and activate manual frame range. Blender shows the maximum of range of keyframes, but we only need the range from 1 to 100. After that, I click on push down and Blender creates an action in the nonlinear animation editor. What can I do with such an action? Bring up the side menu with N and go to action clip. I can set the repeat value to 5 for example, or I can increase to double speed. At the end, I will show you how to combine an action with a path animation. Switch to object mode and add a Bezier curve. Rotate the curve with RZ90 and scale it up. In the curve properties, increase the resolution to 256 and set the frames in path animation to 400. Select the armature and go to object constraint properties. Add a follow path constraint. The target is the busier curve. Activate follow curve and click on animate path. Our puppy looks into the opposite direction, so change the forward axis y to minus y. When we start the animation, the puppy follows the path, but you can see that it slides forward. This means we need to increase the speed of the action and increase the number of repetitions. Your homework is to tweak the animation. And if you want to know how to create fur for our puppy, the following video might be interesting for you.